Hi there, it's The Egg and I'm John Spade. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to say good morning anymore because uh, it, it dawned on me that actually a lot of my viewership happens late at night. And uh, I'm always saying good morning because that's usually when I do the uh, the podcast. It's first thing I wake up and I go, I got to get this going because I've got a lot of great ideas on the top of my head. And, uh, you know, it's a creative process. Anyways, wow. I set off a bomb yesterday. Um, <clears throat> I guess that's going to happen when you uh, when you attack the golden child. Uh, you know, Canada's ambassador, the right honorable David Suzuki. Listen, I understand some of you being a little upset, and you know, a couple of people actually voiced their opinions out loud. Uh, you didn't see some of the emails that I actually got in my inbox. It's okay. I actually respect anybody that comes at me to defend the man because you know what? He has done some good and I'll never dispute that. The thing everybody's going to be careful about, and, and here's one of my issues, um, you know what? The man is making a lot of money and he has a lot of uh, pretty high profile uh, corporate sponsors, uh, Toyota, Bell, and Canna. The list goes on. There's about 50 big corporate sponsors that throw a lot of money at him. And then there's some um, foundation grant money from uh, some, I guess you would call them philanthropists here in Canada who are very wealthy businessmen. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, there's a, there's a greater cause. I get it. I'm all about doing smart things to help the environment. Just, you know... I'm going to bring this up again because I talked about it yesterday. David, lead by example. You, you can't keep telling us what we need to do and not do it yourself. <clears throat> okay, I'm, I'm off of that now. This week, uh, there's lots to talk about. Um, I'm not sure how long the segment's going to take because I want to get a lot out. Um, I spent time with Gary Vaynerchuk yesterday. He does these live... He just All of a sudden, he'll come on and say... Guys, come hit me up at Ustream. I got lots of stuff I want to talk about. And there was 400 of us in his little room. And basically, it's one-on-one. -on -one and he's sharing ideas and throwing it at you. And everything about social media and how it works and how you bring it all together. And he's rubbing off on me. I can feel it already. The, the guy's energy is frenetic. Anyways, the ideas about how you get a message out if you want to build a business like myself... Um, I'm work. <laughs> my dog. I've sort of got this weird setup here in the basement, and there's a cable attaching the camera, and um, she likes to walk over it. Every once in a while, she snags it. Um, so I'm I've got momentum. I don't want to lose this. Uh, it's one take, not scripted. So, anyways, back to back to Gary. So you're we sitting there, and this guy, you know, he's he's making millions. He's he's very well off. He doesn't need any more. And, and he really wants to do the right thing. So he's sitting there and you can tell he's giving back. Absolutely 100% free advice on how to make use of the internet. And uh, I learned a lot of new phrases yesterday. <laughs> and that was Panda hitting the camera. And uh, this is live and unscripted. This is what happens. And I've learned from Gary, that's okay. Because there are times where he had a guy from ESPN came to his door and wanted to do an interview with him. And this is all happening. He doesn't turn the camera off and go, excuse me, you can hear him talking to the guy. No, 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 look, I don't want to do the interview right now. Let's set it up for later. I'm doing something else with some people. And it just real made me realize that right now we're in an era where the internet can be so completely transparent, so amazing. Um, the sharing of ideas, you don't have to hide, you don't have to pretend, you don't have to try to be somebody you're not. You can tell. I'm, I'm so excited about this. I really am. I'm really pumped today. Anyways, so um, John Spade and the Egg has been an experiment to sort of see how do I get a message out? How do I get followers? Um, how do I get people repeatedly coming to uh, Posturous Tumblr um, to watch and click the video on YouTube? And... There's highs and lows, there's ups and downs, there's no definite reason why things happen the way they do. All I know is that week after week, 
well, it's only been four weeks, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting results. I'm getting people that are coming on to sort of see, well, what's the egg about today? Who am I going to annoy? That's what I wonder. I annoyed a few people yesterday, and I don't feel too bad about that. If you're a good friend, you'll still be a good friend. You might not agree with my politics, but I'm okay with that. Anyways, um, the exercise is showing me that I can definitely use this platform to launch a business. So right now, I am uh, tracking down all my angel investors. I now have a, a handful of people who are kind of going, John, we really like your idea. I'm getting ready to launch here, I'd say in the next few weeks, um, and then I'll be able to talk about it more. But um, I'll keep you more in tune with what's going on with the new business and where the egg progresses and uh, if it's going to keep taking on this sh whole shape where I come and talk about stuff that I'm passionate about because that's what's most important. So uh, I said this week I wanted to talk about the food industry and how it drives me bananas and uh, how I wish more people were paying attention to what's going on in there in their uh, community as far as food and where it's coming from and why you're reading it and what you know kind of drives you to choose the foods that you do eat and um, how you consume and do you do you like fast food do you like to go to restaurants do you look at labels I have a tendency to read all the labels on everything I, I know I touched on it yesterday but um, I think at this point at my age you know I'm 46 years old I'm not getting any younger uh, this vessel here it's all I've got to take me through for the next 20, 30 years, however long I have on this planet. So I'm, I'm definitely a lot more concerned about what I'm eating, what I'm taking into my body. And so today, a uh, couple of things. All week I'll be touching on this stuff, but uh, Food Inc., it's a, very, it's, it's a documentary that if you haven't seen it, don't make excuses why you're not around to it you know you, you don't have time or it's a documentary it's not really your thing because you want to see more of the cgi and special effects food ink can affect your life in a very profound way and and not everybody has watched the movie and said oh well i'm going to change my habits today or tomorrow but i think there's an evolution and the more people i talk to you know uh myself being a quasi vegetarian I get people that come back to me and go, you know what, uh, we've kind of adopted, you know, the idea where we're not eating meat all the time now and we're eating more vegetables and getting our proteins from beans and that, and they see the same results that I have. More energy, more focus, um, you're not leaving as big a footprint on the environment because let me tell you, you can get mad at the person that's driving the SUV down the street, but if you're eating meat seven days a week, you're contributing to the greenhouse gases problem if there is a problem. I'm not going to get into that. That's conspiracy ideas. <laughs> so, um, trying to stay focused here. Food Inc., check it. Learn what is going on with your food supply. It'll be an eye-opener. Some of it you might already know. I know some people just don't care. They're like, you know what? I'm going to eat the meat. I don't care where it comes from. I don't care if animals are being abused. It doesn't matter. Uh, because I'm a human and they're animals. Um, it's more than just that. And uh, I think we need to be um, socially responsible going into the future uh, because, you know, we've got future generations to think about. And I, I think, you know, we've got a really bad plan right now and the way we're doing things. Anyways, Food Inc., it's important that you know what's going on with the food supply. Pay attention to your food. Um, that's kind of all I want to touch on today. I don't want to get too heavy. Tomorrow, I'm going to tackle the more in-depth stuff to do with um, companies like Monsanto and uh, their stake in the whole food industry and how they're affecting the food that you eat right now, what you'll be eating in the future, and if the food in the future is even going to resemble anything remotely close to food. Um, Last thing I want to touch on, because it is food week, um, to eat potato chips. This is one of those ones I found out about only, I got to tell you, I love potato chips and still a guilty pleasure. I still eat them. Um, I've learned to really reduce my consumption of them because lace salt and vinegar chips, I don't know, there's something about them. They hit your tongue and you just want to keep eating. 
you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, I found this out from a friend uh, who is in the food industry. Had no idea. She told me about it. I went Googling because I was really curious. I'm going, this is insanity. It can't be. What you're telling me, this can't be real. Um, any food, carbohydrate, that is taken and processed uh, in a deep fryer uh, where temperatures reach, I don't know, 375 degrees Fahrenheit, something, I, I don't know the exact, but there is a chemical reaction that is caused by making potato chips or anything that's deep fried. Uh, so French fries from McDonald's fall under this category. Um, basically, chemical process, uh, the what's left over it, it, and it's attached to your food is called acrylamide. And um, I, I don't want to cause too much concern or alarm. Uh, they don't list it in the ingredients because it's naturally occurring in the process of frying. But acrylamide, for basic purposes, and I really, if I could find something here to demonstrate, uh, I'll use this. I've got a record sleeve here because this is my den of inequity and DJ. Uh, Plastic. See that right there? Basically, when you eat a box of fries from McDonald's or a bag of potato chips, um, you're consuming plastic. It's in your system. Your body doesn't really know how to deal with it. But, uh, you know, in a day and time when we're so worried about PBAs and plastic and, you know, we're consuming it in all our food. And uh, I know they just recently did a study that Canadians, uh, I think 85% of all Canadians have some form of plastic in their systems. I don't know how they came up with those numbers. Anyways, that's my egg for today. Guess what? I'm really excited because uh, I'm doing an audition for a commercial today. I'm starting to do all these really fun things that I sort of put in the back and stop enjoying and living life. And now I'm going back to doing the things that I really like. This egg is one of them. Uh, many more things to talk about. Wow. I'm at 12 minutes. This is one of the longest segments I've done. And if you're still with me, man, I... I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Um, more to come. Thanks for tuning in. I'm going to say bye-bye now.